Hi, in this video we will learn about arrays. A array is used to store ordered list of values that are of same data type. The starting index of an array is 0 and the ending index of an array is number of elements minus 1. In this example, we have 7 elements in this array and the starting index of this array is 0 and the ending index of this array is 6 that is 7 minus 1. If a array is of variable type, we can modify this and if a array is of constant type, this cannot be modified. Now we'll practically see how we can create, access and modify arrays. To use arrays, first we'll create an array. The syntax to create an array is, first we'll write the type of array we want, whether it is a variable or a constant. For variable, we will write var keyword, then the name of the array, followed by assignment operator and followed by the type of array within square brackets followed by two opening and close brackets. This is how we create an array. Now we have created an array named some ints. Now we'll try to print the number of elements in this array. This can be done by using array name dot count function. This is a normal print statement inside which we are performing a count function. So the output of this will be array has zero items because this function sumints dot count will return the number of elements in sumints and we have created a empty array. After that, now we will add some elements to a new array. Here we have created a array shopping list that is of type string and the values inside this are eggs and milk. These are the two value inside this. Now we are printing two is a is array empty. So this is just to check which line we are printing and after that we are writing is array empty followed by terminator. A terminator is used in print statement to give a specific type of ending to a line. For example, when we normally print anything using print function then it is terminated by backslash n. That means now whatever is printed after this will be printed in next line. This is a terminator by default. We do not need to write this. But if we want something other than backslash n, then you can use terminator and inside that you can write the terminator that you want. Like this line is ending with this terminator instead of backslash n. After that we are printing shopping list dot is empty. Now you will see that instead of printing in next line, this will print the statement in the same line like is array empty followed by the terminator followed by the output of next print function. So shopping list is not empty so it is printing false because our shopping list has two items. Now we will see how we can add one more value to a list. So this is our array. To add a element to an array we will write the array name followed by the append keyword and inside that we will write the value that we want to add to our list. So this will add the bread to our shopping list. Now our shopping list is eggs, milk and bread. After this now we will print the second element in our list. Again we have used the terminator as hyphen. In the next line we are printing shopping list and the subscript that we have written inside this is 1. But we want to print the second element. But as we have discussed, the index of an array in Swift language start from 0. So the first element is at 0th position and the second element is at 1st position. That's why we are using first index to print the second element. Now this will be printing second element of list that is milk and milk is our second element in the list. Similarly, we can remove element from the array like shopping list dot remove at will give the index of the element that we want to remove. So this will remove the value at second index that is it will remove the third value from my index. So the third value was bread. Now it will print removing element bread like it is printed removing element bread. Now we will iterate over the array using for in loops. So for item item is any variable from our side in is a keyword and shopping list is the array name now it will 
iterate over each item in the shopping list. So it will print items in list are backslash inside the bracket item. So each time for the first element in shopping list item will get that value. For the next element item will again get a new value. So it will keep on printing the values inside shopping list like items in list are first is eggs, second is milk. We only have two items as we have removed bread from the array. This is how we can use arrays in Swift. Thank you.